Darren here, and on today's episode of WotC Academy, we are going to look at how to play the Tier 10 Russian medium tank, the T-22. This tank was commonly accepted to be one of the worst Tier 10 Russian mediums, but a recent buff to the vehicle made it arguably on par with some of its brethren. So let's take a look. Okay, so the armor on the T-22 is pretty unique in terms of the other Russian mediums. The hull is a diamond shape, similar to that found on the Object 257, a Tier 9 heavy tank. Which, of course, allows for some side scraping, but overall the armor leaves much to be desired. Partially due to the pike nose on the front, and at certain angles is capable of bouncing some shots. Overall, I would say do not count on your hull armor unless you are in a perfect side scraping position with, of course, your tank perfectly positioned. But even that can be overcome. The, tur the pike nose is, of course, a double-edged sword. The turret is another story. While not as reliable as some other Russian mediums, it is still a frying pan shape, which allows for bouncing if angled correctly, especially when in an effective hull-down position. As usual, everywhere else is less armor and susceptible to arty and large caliber guns. Do also be aware of the weak top of the turret that does extend down to the front of the turret, uh, as this is weak enough to be a possible risk factor. So now in terms of mobility, the T-22 is pretty mobile, with a forward speed of 55 kilometers per hour and a reverse speed of 20 kilometers per hour. This means you'll have no trouble getting to where you need to go, or reverse out of danger if need be. As for the 10% chance of fire, this means you could effectively forego running a fire extinguisher. Now, in terms of firepower, the T-22 is like every other regular Russian medium that has a 100mm gun. This gun has a pretty good base accuracy of .32, a decent, a decent base reload time of 6.16 seconds, and a base aim time of 2.2 seconds. This gun will allow you to aim at and hit your target with relative similarity to its brethren and as for the very russian gun depression of five degrees and elevation of 18 degrees you will have trouble fighting in and around ridgelines and hills now how do you set up the t22 well in terms of consumables i set up my uh, t22 like every other regular russian medium with 30 apcr 20 heat and zero he I also run a repair kit, a first aid kit, and a fire extinguisher, because of course, my luck with artillery. But you can forgo the fire extinguisher, of course, with its very low chance of fire, and use food or gas if you wish. For equipment, I run an advanced loader, improved ventilation, and gun stabilizer to improve the gun handling overall. Of course, you can drop vents for advanced optics if you wish to do so. For the commander setup, I recommend running the Jack of All Trades medium setup I mentioned in my commander video. But for the sake of this video, the recommended skills are in the following, are the following, and in no particular order. Born leader, rapid loading, steady aim, six cents, track mechanic, situational awareness, snapshot, run and gun, and marked target. Of course, you can set up the commander to suit your preferences. Now, how do you play the T-22? Well, I have found in my games that it plays slightly differently than the other standard Russian mediums in that it's a bit more forgiving towards oncoming rush shots. Otherwise, it plays just like a 62A, 140, 430, etc. and would fit right in in a wolf pack. Now, while the armor offers a unique opportunities for side scraping, I have found limited success in doing so, both front and reverse side scraping. Though I'm not an expert in that field, and I'm sure a more skilled side scraper can make it work. As I said, the tank would play very similarly to every other usual Russian medium, so I shouldn't need to expand on that much farther. I should mention, though, that the piked nose will get you into trouble more so than a standard hull might because, of course, a piked nose is a double-edged double sword. A piked nose hull is great against rushing, uh, well, is great against rushing head-on towards a panic foe, 
but uh, against an opponent who takes aim, the pike nose means nothing. The diamond hull will also allow you to bounce some shots that happen if you are in a CQC engagement against a panicked foe as sudden jukes can allow the round to hit at an odd angle. That concludes uh, an overview of the vehicle. Let's take a look at some gameplay. So here we are on Overlord in the T-22. Uh, I am going to point this out again. That yes, this was caught on a live stream. The same live stream as the one in the K-91 game that you saw about two weeks ago. Um, same stream, back to back actually. Anyway, here we are on the northern spawn. Uh, Overlord is a uh, newly re-added back map. So it's almost like everyone kind of forgot how to play it but everyone remembered how to play it wrong but you know hey whatever there's arguments for different sides of the map but we're not getting into that so i'm going to go to the side that i know um is definitely a point of contention that can almost arguably be seen as a win loss factor depending on if your team takes it and that is going to be the nine zero line now because this stream, uh, this stream clip here uh, was taken, you're not going to hear any audio. And, of course, there's the logo slapped in the top left-hand corner because we don't need you confused with uh, me talking in the top left-hand corner because lip sync is not a thing. So, well, not a thing for these types of videos. But, yeah, we're going to go over here. Not a whole lot of support, as you can see. It's still, the team is still trying to put, uh, you know, figure out where they want to go. And you're going to see how the pike knows does get me into trouble i get lit right away uh back down again pike knows the way that i was positioned and of course the way the pike knows is angled i uh, that hit penned of course i put a shot back uh returning shot back in the person who shot at me my shot connects as well so i do get some damage there but i'm not going to hang around there i'm going to back off and i'm going to kind of wait for uh, some more support a little bit but in the meantime, while that happens, I'm going to shift into a different position and see if I can get some other shots off somewhere else. I'm not going to push into the middle, but I do want to make sure that no one is going to try and sneak up into the bowl, especially since we don't have any lights roaming around this edge of said bowl. Again, nothing much for me to really... Uh, comment on at this point in time it's me just trying to make sure that um you know we're not going to get snuck up on by a group of light tanks or a light tank or something uh push forward i auto aim shot connects once again and uh we're just aggressively we've won the nine zero uh brawl contention point there and i'm just going to casually get some shots into the panzer comp seven Thing. It's the Panzer 7, as I'm sure everyone knows it. The weird-looking pot-shaped turret tank. So I'm going to keep moving. Mobility is going to definitely be my friend here. Um, and I want to get around back. I am by myself. If I was in a platoon, I probably would be uh, doing Circle of Death things with other Russian mediums. But that's not really the case. It's just me by myself. I can only count on myself. So I'm just going to kind of hang around in the back use my pretty decent reload and my speed to just get around the flanks of enemies and farm some shots on them, the usual uh, Russian medium tank type of thing. Just get around people and just shoot them. <laughs> of course, that's the whole point of uh, this game, isn't it? So, yeah, uh, objective complete, I guess. So, we've taken this side. We could effectively cap their base if we chose, but it seems like we are hungry for kills. If we are uh, 13 to 10 right now, we are winning. So I'm going to go forward. I'm equally hungry. As you can see there, uh, armor absorbed a shot. In the, of course, my I got tracked as well. So tracks eight part of that shot. Still counts as bouncing technically in a weird game tech type of sense. But yes. So I see I'm not going to rush into two tanks there. Even with this armor, a 2v1 scenario is not going to do well. I do take another shot here. Like I said, the armor is not the best, even if it is a diamond shape. Uh, so I did take one there, and uh, now I'm just going to try and play on my terms. I don't have gun depression, so I can't really use my turret, and I can't really abuse this ridge line here. So I have to let them come up to me. As you can see, the 46 Patton is doing just that, and I'm able to use my fast reload to also take care of this TVP 5051. 
who, of course, does manage to escape. Leopard 1 also wants to roll up, but I'm just going to, again, casually shoot them as they roll up here. Leopard 1 is uh, still, again, of course, able to uh, be in my gun sights, and I'm watching the TVP 5051 come around. I'm not going to try and let him, I, I'm not going to let him escape, but he does manage to hide behind the rock, and he does escape. So nothing I could really do there. But I still have to worry about this tank in front of me. Leopard 1, though, is distracted. And this is what I mean by the pike nose actually able to be uh, somewhat effective. And, of course, sudden jerk movements able to bounce shots off the uh, off the armor there. So, again, it's kind of effective if you can catch the person unawares and they start to panic. The armor is good frontally. Sudden jerks allow you to get some odd bounces there. Um, because again, it, it's an armor profile people are not used to on a medium tank. So now here's all the tanks that went down into the beach. They're now stuck here with being technically farmed on both sides, even though not really the case anymore. Um, they're just kind of stuck down in this little gully and the rest of us are able to come around behind them on the sides and shoot down or behind them. Uh, we do have to worry about the Grill 15 that's on the other side of the ridge, but he seems to kind of be uh, not really interested at the moment. He's hiding, reloading, and also probably watching his six to make sure no one sneaks up behind him. In the meantime, though, I here at some point did switch to heat rounds because, again, I'm dealing with a bunch of seriously big brawling um, TDs here. And, of course, the greatest heavy tank of all, the E4, who I do believe is actually been taken out already. Um so again, I loaded heat. I'm not messing about here. Uh, either any of these vehicles could really knock me out with one shot. So I'm just not going to take any chances. I'm going to shoot them. Now there's a 7-1 down there. Unfortunately, uh, the Conf Panzer seven, the pa Conf Panzer fifty, what the the thing there, the teammate in the way, um, and prevented me from getting a couple shots off. But I do manage to get in the kill there. It does seem a little bit petty that my shot ended up being as the kill shot technically taking it from him, but it, it you know I managed to finally get a shot off, and it just happened to be the killing blow. Now I'm trying to look for the the grill 15, thinking that he went down on the opposite gully, but that's not the case here. He's still up here hidden. So I did see that he fired. So I'm just going to press my attack. So you know, knowing that he may actually go and reload before I can actually reload there, I wasn't wasting the, taking the chance, and I was just going to ram him because I had the health. He was the last tank alive. Why not? But overall, a very, very good game. Uh, as you can see, I did over 5,000 raw damage with 1674 assisted, and that game ended up being my ace tanker game, hence why I decided to uh, use this replay. But nonetheless, a very good game in a recently buffed premium tank. But that does it for today's video. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. But until next time, this has been Darren of Watsi Academy.